A proof of concept. I have an ATtiny85 microcontroller here. It has uh, eight pins. Three of those are going to the red, green, and blue uh, LEDs inside this RGB LED. Three more, one to each of these potentiometers. It's monitoring the setting on these potentiometers and adjusting the LED um, brightness based off of uh, what the settings are at. So I can turn the red channel down or turn it all the way up. And I can adjust the different channels, different colors, to produce different uh, combinations of colors. You sort of get the idea. The oscilloscope is hooked up to just the red channel. And it's showing the signal that's going through to the uh, red LED. And you can see here, it's just a square wave. Um, it's on about, in this case, you can see by the duty cycle here, it's on about 50% of the time, which means that it's off about 50% of the time. And as I just the potentiometer you can see it sometimes it'll it, it decreases the duty cycle meaning it's on less meaning it gets dimmer or I go the other way it gets brighter because it's on more this type of signal is how the LEDs in lightsaber blades from Galaxy's Edge are controlled except uh, the duty cycle on those signals uh, is fixed. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably around 50%. And they're just turning different channels on and off to produce a few basic colors, but they're not really... Um, they're not utilizing the full potential you, that, you know, of all the different colors you could have. Someone asked, is there a way to modify a legacy lightsaber to change its color? And my first thought was no, because I've seen people try to open up their legacy lightsaber to uh, maybe potentially modify it, and getting into it is a nightmare. It's destructive. You're going to break it to get into it, and then you've got to repair it when you put it back together, and it's a nightmare. So my first thought was no, because the legacy lightsabers are difficult to get into and, and modify but the lightsaber blade which is shared it's the same lightsaber blade and the legacy lightsaber that you use at the uh, the custom lightsabers that you get from Savvy's workshop that could be modified and this is what I came up with and the idea is I would override the the signals being sent to the uh, the MOSFETs, they're, they're electrical switches, uh, essentially, in this case. The MOSFETs that are being used to turn the red LEDs, the green LEDs, and blue LEDs, turn them on and off very quickly. Override that stock signal with this microcontroller's signal. Mount, mount the potentiometers wherever you want. I mean, you could use little ones and, you know, just take put tiny holes through the, uh, the base of the, uh, the lightsaber blade where you can stick a screw in and adjust them that way. Or maybe use big chunky potentiometers with giant knobs and make it look like it's part of the lightsaber blade or the lightsaber hilt. You know, and, and control it that way. Mount it however you want. It's the sky's the limit. And then you could set the color to be whatever you want. So if you want a pink uh, lightsaber blade, that is. Just a couple of twists of uh, the knobs, and you are all set and ready to go. That's the theory. And it's taken me a couple of days just to get here, which is frustrating because it should have been a lot easier. But it's an 8-pin microcontroller, and I'm trying to use six of the 8 pins. The other two pins are for power and uh, ground. And setting this all up took a little extra digging around and how to do some low-level programming stuff with that microcontroller. But I've got this, it's working now. So now what? 
it's also got me thinking about other options. For example, um, you know, maybe you don't want to set uh, the color with these knobs like this or fiddle around with little tiny ones. Is there a Bluetooth uh, microcontroller out there that I could use that, that's very small in size? That, that, I could, that I could do all of this with and then you would connect to the Bluetooth microcontroller with an app on your phone and set the colors that way. And I think that could be possible. I think... Um, I think I might even have something around here that would let me do it. I don't think I have it at my desk right now. So then do I start investing time in trying to figure that one out? Because uh, I've never really programmed a... Uh, it's an NRF51822. It's the same thing that runs Bluetooth in the uh, in the droids. Never programmed one of those before. Do I start trying to figure out how to do that? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Because if I if I made a mod like this, it'd be something I'd want to share. So that means I'd want it to be something that could be implemented somewhat easily. I mean, we're already talking about modifying the PCB inside the blade because you can't just hook this signal up. The signal from the regular microcontroller is also going to be coming in. So you either have to cut traces on the PCB, you know, permanently damage, intentionally, but permanently damage the board. Or do you do something that requires a bit more finesse, like removing the MOSFETs uh, so then you can mask over the the pad where it connects back to the microcontroller and then you could solder a wire to that loose leg that, and you know, wire it up to the micro... this microcontroller, there's... Uh, what do? What do? That is why I have been talking to myself for the last hour, hour and a half trying to figure this out I think I just gotta sleep on this one but the proof is here, I mean it, it can be done maybe that's the thing, maybe I should hook this up this setup on this breadboard up to a lightsaber blade just to just to prove that it can be done and then figure out the rest. Or maybe, maybe uh, you can figure it out for me. That would be nice. Oh well. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm working on. That's the silly things that I do when I have free time on the weekend. <laughs>